Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Look at what I got here. A super cool Tacoma. Look at that baby. Lifted, ready for adventures. I love it. The customer, it's a new customer. And he brought her for front CV axles because they are ripped most likely caused by the lift he said this ground should be fixed because the battery has a different mount and uh, didn't fit the same way like the previous the OEM it's very good looking truck he also said hey when I'm driving under the load not when I'm coasting but under the load I have some vibration can you check if my axle is not maybe incorrectly under the vehicle maybe it shifted Maybe the axle is more towards to the right or left, or I don't know what it could be causing. Is this wheel sticking a little bit more? I don't think so, but you tell me. You have a better eye than me, huh? No, I, I don't think so. So, I have installed brand new CV axles on both sides. This job is done. Everything is peachy squeechy, super awesome. And now to the back, the possible vibration um, under the load and so on. The customer said maybe the whole axle shifted to the right or left. Well, look at the very bottom leaf, what it's doing moving because it doesn't have a clamp like this one to keep it perfectly in the place it's on both sides I think the shackles are too loose uh, maybe they didn't, didn't belong on this install maybe they were random look how much space it's between the shackle and the leaf spring so no wonder the bottom moved uh, however, you have to look at the whole picture if you have vibration under the load. This is the first place you look. You join at the rear diff. And this one is tight. There's a zero movement whatsoever. These, these are tight. Look at it, guys. There's no tiniest play in that you jump so there's no problem then you have the middle there could be play two there could be play two but it all seems to be looped and in very good condition I don't see any looseness or play on any of these uh, if you look here zero there's one more item which you have to look at and that's the support bearing to check that support bearing it's very easy you can be looking inside they have a light changing the directions of the light I already saw it's not really great inside or you can just grab it and check for a play and if you will find what I have found then you don't have to be questioning the other areas you can pretty confidently go for a repair or replacement it's not a repair replacement of the support bearing let me show you what is not acceptable anymore i'm not sure what angle or how good uh, light we have but especially here that's too much play and when you will put a load 
on the vehicle that will start making rukus right here. This is not acceptable. And this job should be the first thing you will do fixing the vibration, driveline vibration under the load. It will go away when you coast, there's no, no load on it. It will stop because it just rotates there happily, unless it was completely falling apart and the rubber was missing. In this stage you will not feel it, any vibrations, when you are not on the gas and you are coasting. However, the first moment you put any load on it, it starts making that rukus here and definitely that needs to be done. I finally finished the new part install. Here you can see it. Holdy but goldy, golden color. Let me show you. I'm, I know you want to see from comparable spot. I think the camera was here. I will show you what's the difference in that play. Hopefully this will be apples to apples. I think I was standing right here. Let me push on it the same way like I did before. Right, so already shaking the track on the lift. So the place there, there is a rubber, that buffer around that bearing which is inside. But look, right, if I try to create any vibration or everything, well, there is a plate, two millimeters. Before there was a 12. These are guesstimates of mine. So always some tiny play, but it's a tiny. And the way it was, the way it was, it was excessive. And that really could cause these vibrations, which basically, as you can see, I barely can move it. So this is good. I think this owner will be very happy. It's a new customer, they will see. Here you can see the part as it fell apart while being removed from the propeller shaft. In our case, this rubber part is relatively okay. Many times you will find the physical cracks in that ring, that rubber ring. Uh, of course, this one was too loose, so there are some imperfections inside. If you start really looking, you will find them. Uh, this is the bearing itself, basically, that's that carrier and a rubber buffer and this is the bearing itself uh, that was very easy to remove it was loose so that's all these reasons why it had to be replaced and if you have a, a, a Tacoma like this and you find on yours such a large play should you do the job yourself well that's a good question I will rate this uh, made, uh, maybe the medium level skill um, because you have to take apart one of those U joints and that's the only way to get to the nut which will remove one part and finally you can remove the old part the old bearing and install the new one so probably medium obviously these jobs are posting all over the internet all over the YouTube so you can see how it goes I believe I filmed it too in the past I think so so yeah this is definitely reason and I have no doubt that he's driving right now and the uh, vibration is gone it was fixed because that play was excessive definitely 
So I hope you find this video helpful for your own diagnosis if you have the problem like that. And if you like it, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.